Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Java for Testers tutorial, we will learn about writing the data into the properties file. So in the previous tutorial, we have already seen how you can read the data from the properties file. Now let us understand what are the classes available in Java library to write the data into properties file. So let me open the Java doc here. And if you just Google file writer or file output stream Java docs, you will get these classes or the details for these classes in the Java uh, in the Java docs. So this is another class file writer. So as for reading the file, we use the class file reader. Similarly, we have the file writer class, which will read the uh, file in Java. Similarly, file output stream is there as it was for the input stream. So as we had already understood that if you are reading raw bytes, such as image, etc., then you use file output stream or file input stream for the characters or a simple, you know, uh, stream of characters, which is basically what we are reading in the properties file. File writer and reader should be fine, but I'll explain you both the classes and how you can both the, uh, use both classes to read and write the data. So we have already seen reading. Let's understand what we need to do in order to write the data to the file. So here, let me simply copy this whole code because there is not much change. So I'll simply um, just copy this class and I'll rename it. So I'll paste it here and I'll say write data demo, right? And this. Now, in terms of steps, let's see what changes basically in the steps. So create an object of the file writer class. Okay, that's the only thing that changes. All right. So what we'll do is instead of file reader, we'll create an object of the file writer. So let me comment file input stream as of now. Uh, and we'll create an object of the file writer. So I'll say writer and here we'll say file writer okay and import file writer which is from java.io and then in the file writer what you have to specify is the location of the file where you want to write so here i have provided test data dot property so it will write in the same test data dot properties file okay i'll show you if you don't want to write in the same properties file how you can do that in uh, just a few moments so we have create an created an object of the file writer class now this class will remain same so create an object of the properties class and then we don't need this load the file step because we are not reading the data right so this is not required in this case so in the case of writing what we'll do is in the step three what we'll do is we'll say use set property method to set the property okay so instead of get property what we'll use is we'll use the set property so we'll say p dot set property and then we have to provide the key and value pair so what key we want to set so for example i want to set the property url right so we'll say this is a string so you have to provide in the double quotes and the value i'll say rcvacademy.com okay so we have already set the property so simple method just use set property method which is available in the properties class right and then there is one more additional step so let me remove this step here the additional step is to call the method store so p dot store and here you will see when you say when you have the store method you have the writer you have to pass the writer reference along with the comments or the output stream so if we are using the file output stream class then you use this method which is output stream and then if you are using the writer then you use this overloaded um, method so if i use the writer so i have to provide the reference of the writer so the reference is basically file writer so fr and if i want to specify any comments so i can provide that string so sample comments 
right now that's the only step these are the only three steps that are required to set the data into the properties file right so step one create an object of the file writer class then create an object of the properties class and step three is use set property method to set property and then store so use set property and i'll say store okay so if i run this let me open the test data dot properties you will see that the sample comments the comments that i added right that has been added here and along with the timestamp the current timestamp and the url the key value pair has been added in the property file right now if i run again if i run the same code again and refresh so let me open this test data dot properties it again overwrites the data so for example i want i don't want to override i just want to append the data so in the file writer class if you go to the documentation you will have the file writer constructor which accepts or which uh, construct the file writer object when you give the file uh, you know whatever location for that particular uh, file writer right then you have the second constructor which is constructs the file writer object and accepts the boolean so if you say this boolean is append if you say true then it will append to that particular file so here what simply you have to do is comma separated when you're calling creating a, creating an object of this file writer class you just say after the file location you just say comma and true and now it will append in the same file so if i run this and open the file again you will see sample comments and with the new timestamp the url same url got added so now it will keep appending to this particular file now say for example i want to create a new file i don't want to use the same file so simply what you have to do is just provide the name of the new file so if i say new test data new dot properties save this program and run it refresh the folder you will see test data new dot properties got created and it has added the details that we have specified now say for example i want to you know overwrite this url with some new url what you need to do is simply leave the key as is so url key will remain as is and in the value i'll simply say for example i want to append www and then run if i open test data new properties you will see www.rcvacademy.com has been printed now because we have uh, enabled the append as true so that is why it has added it as a new you know section now the next important thing is to just let me open this demo class again right so this is about the writing and appending and also writing in the new file if you want to specify with the file writer class okay now if i want to use the file output stream okay so i can either use file writer or i i can use file output stream so another class right so file output stream create an object of that and then pass the reference of this output stream here in the store method import file output stream and that's pretty much it right so if you go to the file output stream class as well it has the constructor which accepts or which basically allows us to append the file as well so boolean append if you specify true then it will append that particular file if you don't specify this boolean append then it will just overwrite the existing file right so if i now sample comments i'll change it to file output string okay and run this so it will do the same thing for us right let me close it and open the file again so you'll see that it has added uh no it didn't okay let me let me see what has went wrong okay so it did in the test data dot properties right so we we used this 
So here you can see that sample comments FOS and this URL has been added and the old data has been removed. So it has overwritten the old data. Now say for example, I don't want to overwrite the old data. So whatever data is here at the moment should be there in the file. So what I'll do is I'll simply use true. I'll mention true with this constructor file output stream run this program again and if you i open test data dot properties you can see that it has appended right so that's all about writing the file into um, or writing the data into the properties file into any java program using the file writer class or file output stream class the difference between the file writer and output is Basically, if you want to write a stream of characters, use file writer, or if you want to use, uh, you know, want to write the raw stream or raw bytes of, uh, you know, stream of raw bytes, then use file output stream. So, file output stream will work in all cases. Um, you know, in file writer, say for example, you are trying to read and write the image, then file writer is not going to work in that particular case right but for reading and writing the characters or data into your properties file for selenium automation purpose file writer and reader are good enough along with the properties class and these are the three steps that you need to memorize in order to write any data into the properties file of any java program so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe thank you for watching